There are a ton of exotics that just got buffed, which means a lot of combos just got way better. So in this video, I'll go over ways to spam overpowered melees, create debuffing explosions, and deal over a million damage in 10 seconds with a hand cannon. I'm Marshix, and this combo deals an absurd amount of damage to bosses, enough to one phase the new dungeon boss. You'll first need Legend of Acrius. This is an exotic heavy shotgun with trench barrel. Dealing melee damage will increase the damage of this weapon for 3 shots. So you can melee, dump half the magazine, then melee again for the other half. And Acrius just got a massive buff, which gave it more ammo, so more total damage, and it can shoot a lot farther than before. Acrius already deals a lot of damage, but it gets even better when you pair it with no backup plans. These exotic gauntlets also got a change, so now they give you overshields if you get a shotgun kill, which is okay, but it also increases the damage of shotguns while you have an overshield. This is one of the highest damage buffs in the game at 35%, and you don't need to go out of your way to do anything crazy. All you need to do is place down a barricade with the Bastion Aspect, punch a boss to activate Trench Barrel, then melt it with Acrius. It's very simple, but extremely effective, even for solo players, since you don't have to rely on any other buffs. For bosses that you can get close to, this is one of the best damage options out there. And speaking of crazy amounts of damage, this next combo allows you to deal over a million damage with a hand cannon. I've gone over this combo in the past, but it got a lot better this season, and you'll see why. Lucky Pants. Swapping to a kinetic hand cannon will give you a buff called Illegally Modded Holster. Each shot while you have the buff will increase the damage of the hand cannon, going up to a 600% damage buff after 10 shots. That's crazy, but it gets even better. Since the buff only lasts for 5 seconds, fast firing hand cannons take the most advantage of it. That's where Malfeasance comes in. This is a 180 hand cannon and it creates explosions every 5 shots that deal a ton of damage. That alone is great, but this season, Malfeasance got a catalyst that makes it way better. The catalyst drops from playlist activities and it gives Malfeasance Vorpal Weapon. On primary weapons, Vorpal is at 20% damage buff against bosses, so this passively gives it a huge bump in damage. Exactly what Malfeasance needed to become a viable damage option. It also deals additional damage to taken or blighted targets, and a way to make enemies blighted is with Wither Horde. If you have a teammate using Wither Horde on a boss, this is just free damage. And while you're at it, throw in a debuff like Tether, a buff from Lumina or Banner Shield, and a few other things, and this can deal over a million damage in 10 seconds, as shown by this clip from Asdacross. Oh my god. For reference, that's a lot. Up next is the ultimate combo for crowd control. Chromatic Fire. Precision final blows from kinetic weapons create an explosion matching your subclass. This exotic has always been decent for low level content, since the explosion can usually one-shot everything hit by it, but Chromatic Fire just got a massive change that makes it really strong in high-end content too. Now, the explosions are bigger, deal more damage, and anything hit by the elemental explosion will get a debuff according to your subclass. For Solar, they will become Scorched, Arc will Blind, Void will Weaken, Stasis will Slow, and Strand will Sever. All of these are good, but two of them stand above the rest. Being able to weaken basically all enemies by 15% while using Void is extremely powerful. And with Arc, everything will become blinded, which means they can't attack you. And if they can't attack you, you won't die. Since all you need is a single kill, this is going to be broken in GMs. Now, any kinetic weapon will work with this, but my two favorites are Ace of Spades and Wish Ender. Ace of Spades has Firefly, so you'll get double explosions. Plus you get Memento Mori to increase the damage of each shot, and the damage of the Firefly explosion. However, this is more for low-end content, since you can one-shot everything with the double explosions. But if you want to use this in high-level activities like GMs, you're better off using Wish Ender. This is a kinetic bow, so it can get the debuffs from Chromatic Fire, and it has built-in anti-barrier, so you can easily deal with champions. Plus, being able to weaken and blind GM-level enemies is so much more valuable than low-level enemies that can be one-shot anyway. This is by far my favorite build this season, and I think it needs more love. This next combo gives you extremely powerful melees, and lots of them. Point Contact Cannon Brace. This will make kills with Thunderclap restore melee energy, and enemies near you when you use Thunderclap will be hit by lightning strikes. As of this season, the lightning strikes deal more damage while you're amplified, and jolt targets for even more lightning. Because of this change, the exotic went from kinda bad to really good. You do get a fair amount of melee energy back, but let's double down on melees and use Monte Carlo. Dealing damage with this weapon will give you melee energy, and kills have a chance to instantly restore it to full. So you can open with an overpowered thunderclap, get a couple kills with this auto rifle, then melee again and again and again. 
After the brutal Heart of Inmost Light nerf, this is probably the best arc exotic for Titans right now. And you can see why. A while back, I soloed the Spire of the Watcher dungeon with only bows, and I made fun of Leviathan's Breath. A lot. But things have changed. Leviathan's Breath is the only bow that takes heavy ammo, and it deals a lot of damage per shot, and a ton of knockback. In a recent update, this now makes enemies volatile when hit with a perfectly timed shot. Or in other words, more damage. But another exotic got a buff that makes this even better. Oathkeeper. Oathkeeper now has this bar on the left side of the screen, and the more charge it has, the more damage your bows do. If you didn't know, more damage is good. So the hardest hitting bow now does more damage all the time. Oathkeeper also allows you to hold a bow charge indefinitely, and in doing so, it makes every arrow count as a perfectly timed shot. Meaning, Leviathan's Breath will always get the volatile shot, whether you want it or not. This combo is great for damage, plus it will stagger most bosses, so you can easily find an opening. Another amazing combo also uses Oathkeeper, but instead of pairing it with Leviathan's Breath, let's use Wishender. Wishender deals a lot of damage compared to other primary bows, and it's one of the best weapons for high-level content because it has built-in anti-barrier for champions. It's like a mini Arbalist with infinite ammo. Now, with Oathkeeper, it deals more damage, and the wall hack ability of Wishender is permanent since it can be held indefinitely. Can you believe people get banned for wall hacks when we have this? Lots of damage, deals with champions, and legal wall hacks. Definitely worth using. Up next is the ultimate support combo. Your teammates will love you. Divinity. Shoot a thing to make a bubble, and that bubble is now its crit spot. This will make it way easier for people to hit their shots, and everyone will deal 15% more damage. This is amazing for most bosses, and top tier for GMs since you can stun overload champions too. But this season, we got access to Cenotaph Mask, which makes Divinity even better. Bosses hit by Trace Rifles will become marked. Then when a teammate kills it, they will get guaranteed heavy ammo. So you're making it easier for people to kill larger enemies and giving them tons of heavy when they get the final blow. If you coordinate with your team, you can mark every champion while they nuke them with heavy ammo and get it all back. Speedrunning Nightfalls has never been easier. One of Divinity's biggest flaws is that you have to reload during damage phases. But with this helmet, Trace Rifles steadily reload themselves. So if you tap fire Divinity, you'll never run out of ammo and have 100% uptime on the div bubble. This combo is absolutely busted, whether you're running high-end activities with champions or just DPSing bosses. But if you prefer offensive builds, you can swap out Divinity with Cold Heart. This Trace Rifle deals more damage the longer you hold down the trigger, and with Cenotaph, you'll never have to let go of the trigger. This also creates Ionic Traces when it's in its high damage state, so it has some extra synergy with Arc builds. A lot of fun, but admittedly a lot weaker than Divinity. Bungie just took an old combo and gave it explosions. But if you are enjoying this video, leave a like and let me know your favorite combos down below. Actium War Rig will steadily reload your auto rifles and machine guns, and one of the most popular weapons to pair with it is Sweet Business, because you can hold down the trigger to speed up the fire rate and never stop. But this season, Sweet Business got a buff. Now, it creates explosions every few shots, making it deal a little more damage and a lot more stagger. So this already fun and strong combo just got even better, but not as good as this next combo. You can dump all your heavy ammo in only a few seconds. Radiant Dance Machines just got a minor buff, but that's all it needed to create this crazy combo. Dodging near an enemy gives you a buff called Multi-Dodge. While you have this buff, you have infinite dodges. This is the same as before, but now you can extend the timer by getting kills. This means you can dodge near an enemy to get Multi-Dodge, get one or two kills to max out the timer, then for 10 seconds, you can spam your heavy weapon and dodge in between to reload it and dump all your ammo. Weapons with long reloads and small magazines benefit the most from this, so you'll want to pair it with something like a Legendary Rocket, Galahorn, Parasite, or Fourth Horseman. But the best exotic to pair with it is Two-Tailed Fox. This is one of the best rockets in the game right now, thanks to its catalyst which adds a third arc rocket which jolts its target. This does a ton of damage against bosses, and now you can shoot it a lot without reloading. The next combo gives you unlimited invisibility, but you'll have to check out this video to see how. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm Marshix and I'll see you next time.